though elves enjoy remarkably long lives, they do not possess immortal bodies. Throughout the long history of the Land of Dawn, this gentle and fragile race endured great pain and suffering, before finally making their home in the Ezria woodlands. Mia lived through all of this. Born at the end of the era of strife, Mia bore witness to the indescribable tragedies that befell the elves in the endless war, followed the moon goddess to salvation, then personally experienced the Second Continental War with the humans, and witnessed many of her people degenerate into Dark Elf after the corruption of the Abyss defiled the shadow swamp, devastated by the ill fate of her race and the scars of war. Mia dreamt of a peaceful life, and this dream finally came true when the moon goddess used all her strength to create the lunar aegis, sheltering the elves of the Azria woodlands and allowing them to thrive under the aegises protection. After this, the moon goddess entered a deep slumber, and Mia became a member of the priesthood for thousands of years. She served in the Luna temple with absolute piety, praying for the reawakening of the moon goddess, and that the goddess would one day be able to protect the disaster-stricken elves forever. However, this period in her life was destined to come to an end with the continuous expansion of the Abyss and the Demons. The fog of war once again shrouded the Land of Dawn, when the humans and the Absol Demons fell into a stalemate. Conflict arose among the Elves in their attitudes toward the war. The faction headed by the Elf King Hestes believed that the evil Abyss would bring disaster to the whole continent and the elves must take the initiative to destroy the demons. Many other elves believed that their people had suffered enough and should not become embroiled in war ever again. Instead, living safely within the borders of the Azria woodlands, under the protection of the moon goddesses Aegis, what Estes just couldn't understand was that his sister, Mia, was on the opposite side of this internal conflict, though she cherished peace. Mia still firmly remembered the last mandate of the moon goddess, to protect her own people, no matter what. Therefore, she did not want to see any more elven lives sacrificed in the name of righteousness. In the end, the vast majority of the elves chose to defend the Ezria woodlands, but little did they know. They were ushering in another catastrophe. The lunar aegis possessed the power to prevent the spread of corruption in their domain, but it could not stop the powerful demon army. In order to attack the Manian Empire, the demon army bypassed the insurmountable Lantus Mountains and chose to set out from the shadow. Swamp, invading the Manian plains from the moonlit forest in the face of the sudden demon army invasion. Although the elves put up a tenacious resistance, the demon army swept through the moonlit forest. The king of fire demons, Thamuz, set fire to the tree of life, upon which many elves resided, raining an inferno of death upon them. Forest, Mia blamed herself for the tragedy. She wanted to protect her people by avoiding war, but her inaction resulted in an even bigger, greater sacrifice. And so she prayed day and night in the Luna Temple, hoping that the great moon goddess could grant her enlightenment and guide her in the difficult path forward. However, the sleeping moon goddess did not grant Mia the enlightenment she sought, and the light of the moonlit forest became dimmer by the day. Estes and some of the other elves began to weaken as a result of the waning lunar energy. In the distance, 
The orcs and demons led by Bauman gathered in the Stormy Wastelands this time. Their target was not the Manian Empire, but the moonlit forest itself, with the great moon goddess still asleep, and the strength of Estes declining. Mia had no choice whether she was prepared or not. War had finally found her once more. She was forced to shoulder the duties of the priestess of the moon and lead her people to defend their homeland when the sound of the orc war drums could be heard approaching. The troops of the moonlit forest also sounded a horn that had not been heard for thousands of years. Mia, the priestess of the moon, took up her silver bowl and joined her people to fight in the moonlight.